Escape from Croc Back Bottom. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. This is 3 Hello Gamer, and we are doing episode 11 of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So, we are now playing as Cersei for the very first time. Siri. My bad, Siri. I keep saying Cersei. Siri. Uh, we cannot access the inventory or use signs. Okay. What? Oh god, this is freaking cool. What? I died? Oh, I, 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 I died. I somehow died. Go to most recent save. My Dr. Pepper. What happens now? That means we've gotten rid of the sisters. Sometime later. Well, this isn't the best loading in a game. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You'll return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die. But it shan't be one of us. Oh, it will. Don't you worry. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl will die, I see you 
That's terrifying. That is just scary. Winds howling. Stop with the character updates. Okay, let's check our quests. Alright, we're done with that quest. We are about to reach level 7, which means we will be able to use the new crossbow, which is good. Up next, Bloody Baron. Go to the Baron's castle in Velen. That's what we're gonna do. Why? Because we have no choice. But it seems to be pretty far away, so let's go to the nearest. What's this? Roach? No, I don't want to go to Roach. Let's go to the fast travel. It's not too far away. I don't need you, Roach. You were a mistake. Let's jump over this. Alright, now let's find where our location is. Where is it? Baron's castle. It's right there. Where's the where's the nearest fast travel? Right here? Fast travel there. Oh that was fast, dude. It's dark already. What happened here? Roach? Let's go, Roach. Really? Giddy up. Faster. Come on, Roach. Don't be afraid now. Ah! We're almost there. Do I have full health? Okay. You gotta be ready for anything. Gotta be ready for anything. Let's sprint over there. I think the smallest quest will help me level up. I don't think I've been here before. Halt! Oh, God. Baron home? Depends who's asking. A witcher. Wanna talk to him? Hmm. Yeah. And I wanna plow the lovely Queen Cero. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way. Nice and all. It led me here. Gotta talk to the Baron. Oh I? What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we had none but him. I got Open the gate. Sergeant! Ardell! Witcher! To see the Baron! Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Let's go. Guard called you a sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? 
Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. This guy walks a lot faster than I do. Nothing here for you. Nothing here for you. Okay. It's the same annoying fat guy. Emphysema. Now those were balls. <laughs> Attended a few, me and Moriani. Oh, how we danced. How we twirled. <laughs> Ooh. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> hey! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Seems like a nice guy. Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality. Especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. That voice acting. Make yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha, a man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell. Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stringer. Now the blob tits round here call me the bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said <laughs> already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? It's awful, dude. No. It's awful, man. I don't. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here. He becomes damn hard to find. Yeah. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Another flashback? Another gameplay flashback. These loading screens are so messed up, man. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. Ooh.
needs help. There's gonna be pure combat since I can't use any of my things. Look at her emblem, she has a cool like medallion logo. Right next to her health box. Oh that dodge though. I don't know about that voice acting. Maybe it's just a little bit. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. Why don't you tell me where you live? In Lindenvale. They'd see to your wounds there. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Come. I'll walk you home and explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. See what I've got on my back? Huh. Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Uh. Uh. <sighs> see where sword. That's a lot of wolves, man. This dodge is a lot more useful than freaking Geralt. Generating health? You can come out now. My, you're brave. My father can even do that. Mine could do a lot more. Come. Look! There's something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But. No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Hmm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. 
Interesting. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? Huh. The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Oh, my shit. Bear. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Huh. Alright, dog tallow. Let's see if we can find some of these bodies. Just make sure these other ones don't have something. No, oh, those are over there. Screw those. Okay, what is this? A cow? Hmm, massacred by something with immense claws. So wolves can be killed with a normal sword. A normal steel sword while while the werewolves have to be killed with the silver sword. children out to follow the sweets sometimes they send their children sometimes they go themselves do they return no why would they they've plenty to eat with half things i just fell this way through the cave you lead the cave it's a bit dark afraid are you no then I'm not either <laughs> werewolf time but I don't have the ingredients yet Is that it? Boy, you really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on.
You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I, I know, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. I might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. I don't like that hairstyle. Imagine Geralt of Rivia with that. Mm -mm. Nope. Can't do it. Oh god, 25 minutes. few hours later <laughs> just who do you think you brought me man that's not me daughter <laughs> and the little one neither damn it I think I'd know my own child well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Mm, very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. I want... I need to find her. Understand? I need every last bit of information available. I understand. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. And if not, I slay him. This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare, I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Can't start searching till I know what they look like. Tamara, my daughter, turned 19 in the spring. Slender lass, without yay tall, comes up to my shoulders. Beautiful eyes, green like her mother's. My wife, Anna, has two score winters behind her that she'd never admit it. Dark hair, thick as tar, keeps it tied up in a bun. Hmm. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away, but they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks if you're looking to hide someone. This is the place. This place must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? 
I want it for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner, not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint, say the word. Had your men in mind, their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, or cut him down like a dog. Anything unusual happened before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well. Devoured another lass before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever. And Tamara, occupied with her things. Nothing unusual. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any you might have? I've been eating dirt long since. Oh. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. That's a big piece of armor, dude. Alright. I'm gonna follow the Baron in episode 12. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are nearing 700 subscribers. As always, if you guys are enjoying the series, let me know in the comment section. Once again, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I will remember to like, favorite, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time on the battlefield. See ya. Peter Piper picked Prince Proximo a pack of pickled peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> <laughs> Done celebrating. My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this?